Cryptocurrency Most people believe that it's a strange market where the rules of normal currencies don't exist and millionaires are born out of thin air. So why wouldn't the cryptocurrency deal that you found not be legitimate? Is there a way to know how to spot a cryptocurrency scam? Let's talk about that. Welcome to Scam Takedown Task Force, a community dedicated to finding scams online and spreading scam awareness. The FTC recently released a report that since 2021, over $1 billion have been stolen from people through cryptocurrency scams, making them far higher on the list than many other scams. Part of the reason why they are so prolific and difficult for people to spot is because in reality not many people know much about what cryptocurrencies are. The good news is that you don't need to know what they are or how they work in order to spot many of the scams that surround them. So what are some things to look out for when looking for cryptocurrency scams? The number one way that scammers try to convince you to put your money into their coin is by offering you free money. Whether that free money is from saying that you will make guaranteed returns or that they will give you more for free if you buy in plays on people's instinct to seize a good deal. They may say it is a giveaway or that all you have to do is sign up to receive free coins. The scammers are capitalizing on the fact that many people don't understand cryptocurrencies and in turn are gullible to what they are offering. Just like any investment, there is no way that anyone can guarantee that you will make money. And any company that does say that is either taking your money outright or acting as a Ponzi scheme. Anytime that you see an investment that says you will make obscene amounts of money in short time, it is very likely a scam. Not knowing the ins and outs of crypto trading can make it very difficult for people to understand what is normal and not when it comes to buying or selling coins. This opens the door for scammers to use fake websites and apps in order to steal people's information, gaining access to their wallets and being able to steal all of their tokens. Once a wallet is compromised, there is nothing that can be done to stop people from stealing everything in it beyond creating another wallet and moving the tokens yourself, hopefully before they do. Anytime a website asks for your login information for something and you are not sure about it, you should be very cautious about putting your information in and should avoid ever giving anyone your wallet information, especially your private key. Also be wary because anything that you type on these websites, including login information, will end up in the scammer's database. If you did end up putting your information in, then make sure you change your passwords. Ponzi schemes are some of the oldest in the books, and while nearly everyone knows what it is or have at least heard of them, the new world of cryptocurrency has brought them back in full force with very little that can be done to regulate them. A Ponzi scheme involves someone investing who may bring on others to also invest to increase their returns. In reality, the people that have invested after them are paying for the first person's investment. This is done to increase trust and encourage more people to buy in until the people offering rip the rug out and run away with all of the invested money. A lot of the times, these scams also make you pay money to withdraw your funds. And oftentimes, even after you pay the money to withdraw, they are never sent. In terms of cryptocurrencies, these were never actually cryptocurrency in the first place and were just made to look like they were in order to attract people to possible riches they've seen other people make in cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies are still novel and finding their way in a world where there are lots of people out there that want to make it big. Some of those people are willing to steal other people's money in order to do it. While the news loves talking about how much people are making in the world, it's worth mentioning that there are very few people who are making that and blindly throwing money into cryptocurrencies will never make you as rich as you hope. The scammers are devious, using methods like pretending to be celebrities and making websites to make people believe that they are legitimate. You should only invest your hard-earned money in things that you understand fully, especially in risky markets. Be sure to like the video if you found it helpful, and subscribe if you would like to see more of this content. The best way that you can help fight back against the scammers is to share this video and help spread scam awareness. If you have experience dealing with a cryptocurrency scam, we would love to hear your story down in the comments below.
Until next time, be vigilant, spread awareness, and have a great rest of your day.